Hello, good afternoon. It's uh, Adil Fazal here, market analyst at CFDs.com, bringing you a review of the European markets, a mid-afternoon update on the uh, Thursday 20th of April 2016. Be sure to visit tradesignal.com for your latest analysis uh, and market commentary. Uh, along with myself, uh, you can access it and download it uh, at tradesignal.com or the Google Play and uh, the App Store. Okay, European markets uh, basically suffering from a... Uh, uh, a hiatus of uh, hawkish uh, rhetoric and uh, lack of stimulus from the BOJ, as we all know, overnight, uh, which was obviously keeping this equity bid um, uh, afloat. And uh, we had the uh, FOMC, which, uh, according to Kathleen, uh, certainly was uh, hawkish, and from my perspective, certainly hawkish, given the fact that they omitted the uh, global risks concern. Okay, we did have uh, strong earnings from FB via Facebook and uh, PayPal. That certainly um, lifted the Nasdaq, but then obviously we reverse quite uh, powerfully subsequently. Okay, so in terms of uh, European markets, let's look at the actual news flow and uh, the uh, the stats. Now, uh, the Shanghai village more or less flat, the Hang Seng positive, the Aussie Australian index positive as well, the ASX. Uh, but the Nikkei, obviously, as we all know, got absolutely um, butchered. Okay, down almost six or seven hundred or even eight hundred points at one time. I think it was down what 4.5 percent in a matter of minutes. Uh, post the BOJ announcement. Okay, now in terms of uh, economic data this morning, uh, because of uh, uh, we all know the backdrop, uh, bearish rhetoric, uh, or should we say hawkish rhetoric, is bearish and uh, strong yen. The yen is currently trading at 108, which again obviously denotes risk aversion. The euro USD has spiked to 1.1350 as well. As we all know, uh, the ECB and the BOJ are the two active members of QE. And uh, if the euro and the yen start to move higher, then that indicates risk off. Okay, along as the uh, along with the classical yen, CHF, and US dollar trade. Okay, now in terms of economic data, let's go back to that. Uh, the um, nationwide housing price is certainly lower than expected, so again that puts some pressure on the FTSE 100. Uh, the unemployment numbers out of Germany, more or less, uh, no, nothing, no major concern. Um, I think the the focus really was on the BOJ. Uh, now, in terms of uh, EU data, services sentiment better than expected, consumer confidence more or less in line, industrial confidence slightly better than expected, economic sentiment indicator slightly better than expected, and business climate slightly lower than expected. So, a mix out of messages there in terms of economic data, nothing major, no market moving news there other than the German uh, unemployment numbers. But having said that, the focus has been on the uh, QE uh, and always has been on QE, okay? And the lack of stimulus from the BOJ certainly hurt sentiment. Now, we do have uh, consumer CPI data out of Germany in the next 15 minutes, and then we have a barrage of US data. We've got GDP coming out of the US, initial jobless claims, continuous jobless claims, consumer uh, personal consumption expenditure, which again is very important, uh, so keep an eye on that. Kansas Fed, and we have the natural gas storage and C per core personal CPI as well. So again, inflation readings are always good uh, in terms of the US dollar. Right, okay, now... We did actually get weaker inflation data out overnight as well from uh, from Australia. So again, the uh, deflationary battle continues. Okay, now in terms of the uh, the actual uh, indices and where they are positioned from a technical perspective, let's bring that up for you. Okay, so let's start off with the euro stocks first of all, given the fact that it's a broad spectrum of the EU market. Okay, so you can see that we have this H&S formation on the 60-minute chart. We've obviously closed that formation now. Uh, we've closed the gap. Gap fill obviously indicates a potential bottom, and you are looking for a potential reversal now, from my perspective. Now, the HS target was the pivot high of 3150. I'll just write this in for you. HS equals 3156 was a pivot high, if I'm correct. Yep, 3156. Bring it down to the neckline, which is 3100. Call it 3106 just to make it easy. So, minus 3106. So, you are looking at 3066 potential target in the downside. I mean, more or less close up. Okay, more or less close that now. So uh, the HNS target has been met, and therefore you are looking for a, a subsequent uh, short squeeze rally. Now you have left the unfilled gap above, so again that certainly remains a, a potential target. So certainly keep an eye out for that. Okay, uh, in terms of the daily chart, let's just bring the daily chart. The euro stocks at the moment again is gap fill. Really, that's basically the story or the scenario at the moment. Obviously, you do have previous support equals resistance, or previous resistance equals support. That certainly is a zone to watch out for as well. Okay, now in terms of the German DAX, let's bring up the German DAX for you. Uh, the daily chart, the German DAX is always important. Again, gap fill uh, 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 corporate, okay, into uh, previous uh, resistance equals support as well. So um, certainly another corporate. Now, just bear me one second. 
Okay, so in terms of the German DAX, same concept here is into gap fill support, so looking to potentially bounce. 60 minute chart, as you can see, the HNS formation, although it was uh, circumspect, it certainly has closed the gap. Okay, so uh, that was a target that I was looking for, uh, and the market never reacts the way in which you want, although it does reach that target eventually, given the fact that BOJ and the FOMC certainly. Uh, failed uh, certainly didn't uh, actually uh, fa well, fail to deliver from the qe perspective okay so the uh, diagonal uh, trend line certainly is in play horizontal support obviously previous resistance equal support is in play we are now looking to potentially bounce from here so bear that in mind looking for a nice bounce here looking up to uh, potentially gap fill above okay german dax uh, that's the situation there uh, okay gap fill support remains at 10 120 uh, there are multiple gaps below but i'm not going to focus on those because i don't expect them to come into play given the fact that PayPal and Facebook certainly uh, stronger earnings overnight. Although, having said that, no, a lack of stimulus from the BOJ and uh, obviously from the FOMC, uh, one could argue to the downside. Okay, but for now, I'm going to stand pat and say that we are looking to potentially hold this gap and remain above this gap unless we get any other socio-economic or geopolitical situation. Now, the French CAC, again, was already weak regardless, given the fact that it held a 200 MA on the daily chart. 60 minute chart on the French CAC, still bearish engulfing. Uh, candle certainly remains in control. We did close that gap though, having said that. Uh, and the ultimate test will be that 4340 gap fill below. Now, you do have this uh, bear flag formation in on the French CAC still in play, so bear that in mind as well. So, the French CAC certainly remains weak from my perspective. Certainly, that 200 MA will come into play eventually, from my uh, understanding. Okay, now uh, in terms of the FTSE 100. Uh, you have held previous resistance equal support, which can easily be displayed on the daily chart. You can see here the FIB retracement. The 200 MA was resistance now equal support. Uh, FIB retracement 50% to 61% previous resistance equal support. Given the fact that oil prices are still languishing up 50, uh, above $44, if I bring up the chart of oil, um, sorry about this, folks. I do try to make these videos quick uh, and uh, small and precise, but given the fact that intermarket analysis covers such a, a vast array of variables, it's very hard to do that and for me to give you a comprehensive uh, perspective on the market i do need more time okay so apologies for the lengthy videos uh, it should be a daily digest type of video where you can watch it very quickly okay so oil uh, broken 44 or key 44 zone now the 200 ma is in, into uh, into play uh, you can see that you're into the uh, 47 dollar level is which is a 200 ma and that equals previous support equals resistance in that zone as well so 47 48 certainly is um uh, it has been triggered on oil and that should obviously help uh, global equities and should help uh, the inflation trade okay so bear that in mind uh, so don't get too bearish on the aussie to a large extent i always short the aussie before i've closed my shorts so don't get too bearish on the aussie okay okay right in terms of the um the actual uh, uh the FTSE 100 now let's go back because i'm digressing again I'm, i need to get these videos uh, small concise uh, and keep them brief so you uh, have the ability to watch them and not uh, uh, log into a uh, a Netflix episode. <laughs> okay, so 60 minute chart. Uh, you can see you have a bu bullish engulfing candle. Uh, certainly has come into play. Uh, looking for a bull flag. This is my latest setup, my latest trade. I'm actually longer FTSE at 6251. Uh, the IHS formation is in play. Looking for that uh, 6280 level to be tagged. Uh, potentially even higher on the IHS formation. So certainly looking for a bullish move on the FTSE 100. Okay, folks, I think that's a, a wrap in terms of a um, obviously uh, summary of the European markets. Certainly bearish due to BOJ and FOMC, a hawkish uh, surprise to a large extent. A lot of people were surprised, especially with the BOJ. So uh, bear that in mind. Now, the um, other fact, obviously, is that uh, the uh, markets are into gap fill. Uh, the bearish news has all been factored in. And oil prices still have uh, uh, certainly withstood the sell-off. And therefore, you are looking for a move higher, from my perspective, at this juncture cfds.com make sure you visit and uh, certainly take advantage of that 25% uh, cash bonus offer uh, and uh, certainly uh, learn more at the uh, app which is at tradesignal.com goodbye now folks